Today, a bunch of the largest reptile YouTubers are putting me to the challenge. Brian Blotchick Dingo here, and mate, here is your challenge to hold a 21 foot reticulated python and a 14 foot green anaconda at the same time. Now, you'll know better than anyone. It's not just body strength you're gonna need, you're gonna need to know how these animals are moving and what you can do to particularly keep the reticulated python on you and not moving off. So, I hope you do well with this challenge, my man. I'm absolutely bust. Look at me. This is as tough as my mother-in-law's chicken. So Ivy is definitely looking big. She's obviously grabbing. It's gonna be a challenge, and I think I'm gonna need some help on this. Guys, one. I'm gonna need your help. Back's gonna break. Mountain Dew. <laughs> God, it stinks so much. I really wish I could say something. This is gonna be tough. Oh, she's peeing on me. Oh, all over me. So now I got pee all over me. That's great. Oh my God, she's so heavy. All right, let's get the other plate out of. Deep breath. It's like Deep Dingo breath. said, you gotta kind of read the snake as well so that you can read the body language. What she's doing. Oh my gosh. What's the safe word? Oh Do my gosh. Safe this is so heavy, guys. I can't. Oh my gosh. I think my back is compressing. I, I think I'm done. done. I think I'm done. Oh. Here, take that, take that. Okay, you're fine. I got high. I'm okay without Ivy. That extra 60 pounds with Sunrise was absolutely incredible. I've got Anaconda pee all over me, but Dingo, I think I did your challenge. Oh my goodness gracious, these girls are heavy. I'm putting Ivy back. <laughs> You're just in dull. Oh, gosh. <laughs> if you guys could smell this. It's <laughs> That's so bad. So gnarly. Dingo, I love you, man, but dude, I'm gonna smell like this for the next two days. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Thanks a lot. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Got the bleach, right? Don't use hand sanitizer. It doesn't work. You found that out last time. I could literally feel my back compressing <laughs> onto the next. All right, guys, we're sending Brian a dinosaur mask. And the challenge is this. I want you to interact with animals that you feel you have a relationship with, that know you by sight, that are social. And I want to see what happens when you put this on your face and you represent yourself but as a dinosaur i want to see what your animals do i believe these animals being so smart they're actually going to look at that dinosaur not as you and they're going to realize this might be a monster and they're not going to trust you and kevin and donnie literally sent me this mask i am definitely interested in how this is going to so how this is going to actually go <laughs> Let's give this a try. <laughs> well, the first thing I'm going to try is Elvis. You can see me and Elvis have an incredible relationship. He is an absolutely amazing animal, and he knows me really well. So obviously, even when he comes out, he'll oftentimes crawl up to me. So we'll let him come out here and just interact with him a little bit like normal. Then we'll try the mask. And as you can see, he is an unbelievably beautiful animal. Now, I know that they're very visual as well. He sees everything and thinks about everything. So it's going to be really interesting to see how he's going to react when I put this on. Elvis, come here, buddy. What do you think, bud? I think he keeps trying to run away. I don't think he likes it. I think he thinks like, hey, that looks like a, something that might eat me. Elvis, oh, so far he didn't seem to really like it, but at the same time, he doesn't seem to be that bothered by it. It's What's going on, buddy? Do you care that I'm doing this? Oh, he's got the mask. Oh no! He's got the mask. Help! He's got the mask. <laughs> got the mask. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think Elvis likes this mask very much. Okay, buddy, you can let go. Let go. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh. That was crazy. Uh, what's up, Brian? You know what? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go find a total stranger. Walk up to them and start teaching them about Aldabra tortoises. Here's Nostradamus. I know you've got an Aldabra. Spread the word. Let people know how awesome these guys are. But it's got to be a rando. All right. See you later. Ken, and I like this idea. I love introducing people to this amazing animal here. We actually have a place right across the street that looks like there's a bunch of people there. What do you say we head over there and see if we can find somebody? That's illegal. Jay Walker. Jay Walker. Shame! Shame! Shame him! Shame! Excuse me, would you like to meet my turtle next door? I'm gonna f*** what I want to see your turtle. Hey, would you like to come over and see my big tortoise? No. Harder than I thought. Oh, I tore a hammy! <laughs> would you like to see my giant tortoise next door? No. Bill, Sally, do you have anyone over here that wants to see my giant tortoise? No. No. Way. No. no. Sorry. Can't find no. anybody! Whoa! I challenge you! I challenge you, Brian Bartek, Noah Bartek, and the guy with the squinty eyes who always looks sleepy in the reptarium. I challenge all three of you to the ultimate challenge. You have to stand still like a tree for no less than an hour with 25 to 30 plus snappy Amazon tree bows draped all over every single limb of your body, all over your neck and your head, the snappiest ones in town straight from the Amazon tree branches. And whoever gets to hold these snakes the longest without tapping out from being little bites, they get to run the reptarium. 
for a whole month. So, Brian Barczyk, if you want to keep your kingdom, you better take a few bites. No, Barczyk, I'm looking forward to seeing how long you last. And squinty eyes. I just like that guy. He's cool. Chandler, you're an absolute wild man. The problem is, is I don't have a bunch of Amazon tree bows, but I do have one named Lucky. So, I have an idea how we can do this challenge and make it fun. I'm not doing it. So, here's the deal. We've got the three of us. What we're going to do is all of us are going to put our hands out like this, and we're all going to hold Lucky. Okay. The last person to leave is the winner of the challenge. Wait, wait, Come wait. on. What do we win? They get to run the reptarium for a whole month. Yeah, I'm coming for you. I don't know you. You don't know me, but I'm coming for you. He called you squinty eye. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I see it, though. I see it, though. <laughs> Just because I laugh, okay? Uh, I want uh, hand in, hand in. Hey, you got this isn't fair. Okay. You got me touching it. Okay, I'm touching it. Wait, 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 First, wait. Listen. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right, put your hand on. Yeah, this isn't fair. It's put fair. your hand on. This is not fair. Oh. Hand on the snake. No, not mine. Not your hand on his hand. <laughs> Let me go this you got, way. You got touch all right, last person. Stop tickling it! Ah, I give up! I no give up! I no give up! No one's out! No one's out! Screw you, Mr. Brian. You're gonna lose. Oh, he's gonna play Jake. Lucky! <laughs> That's right, take that Chandler. You listen, I'm not afraid of Lucky. Look at this little monkey. He's actually, me and him have a, a great relationship together. I love you, Lucky. I'll even kiss him on the head. That wasn't his head. <laughs> I know. That's when he lost, Chandler. Oh God, it's tight. Tabasco typically likes me. This thing is ridiculous. Ah! Uh, he's also kind of territorial. So like, let's say Tabasco. Oh, ooh, ooh. I just want to say hi. It's me, it's your bestie. It's that stupid. Come here, bugaboo. Oh. That did not work. I wanted it to. Come here, buddy. Ah. Yeah. He didn't like that very much. It smells like a daggone gym locker in there. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. <laughs> Jesus, why is it wet in here? It's wet a lot, dude. Booga booga woogie. Kind of like I like. What's going on, big guy? Coming in the house. He's actually, you can see he's looking me dead in the eye. Uh, I don't really think he actually cares about this thing at all. He's just more or less just like, what? what is this? This is not you feeding me. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not impressed with this. Would you mind coming over and seeing my tortoise? That's a dog, Noah. Oh. Would you like to meet my tortoise next door? Sure. Do you want to go over and actually meet it? Yeah. Do you really? Yeah. Oh, let's do it then. So when you're done, why don't you come over to the Reptarium? It's right across the street, oh, and you guys can meet my turtle. Let's just stream Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's awesome. Awesome. We found somebody. It's nifty to be 50. You know what? This is 199 I bet I can get 10 bucks for it. On to the next bit. What's up, Brian? For my challenge, I want you to go to a venomous snake's cage. Without a snake hook, like so. Grab him like this and kiss him on the head. Right. Just like that. Okay? That's my challenge for you. <laughs> Tyler, you are a madman. Crazy. Bruce does have a cobra, but uh, I don't think that I'm up for this challenge. With that being said, there was a time in Indonesia. So it's not exactly a cobra, but it is a false water cobra, so what? And listen, I've already kissed the king cobra, so it's your turn. Right on the lips. Ah, oh, see that? I'm not getting thirds again. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, I kind of like this mask. The eyes are sweet. Let's get to work. I got it. You know what time it is. Ice cream. So the older guy from across the street never showed up. All right, so I think I've got someone over here. Come on. Excuse me, excuse me. Would you like to come in and see my giant tortoise? Sure. All right, let's go. Kenan, we finally found someone. This is actually Matilda. What's your name? Gabby. Come on over. She's now Dalbert tortoise. She's only 137 pounds right now. She can get up to 550 pounds. What do you think? It feels like leather. Isn't it cool? Think we should let her feed her? Let's do it. When I first walked in, I thought it was a Galapagos. Yeah, they're very similar, actually. Galapagos and Eldalbers are what they call parallel evolution. So they're basically the two giant tortoises of the world, but they're on opposite sides of the planet. So what'd you think? Is it cool? Yeah, it's really neat. Awesome. Hey, mission accomplished. Yeah. It's, a new, it's a new ask. Which one do I get? What would a dinosaur eat? Like those tacos? Dinosaurs have to like tacos. Who doesn't like tacos? Just that for the dino, Bill. 
Thank you, Bill. We'll see you. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? I got a taco taco. Hey, thanks, Chris. Yeah. Whoa. Oh my gosh, look who just showed up. All right. So oh, here's one of those. My Eld Albert first. You want to feed her? Yeah, yeah you just put it by your mouth. Yeah. I mean, big ones, bigger than that. Oh, yeah, these ones get like it, 500 it's a, pounds. It's, it's a fall in that. There oh, you this go. is nice. She's nice, isn't she? Yeah. Thanks for coming over, man. Yeah, I used to, I used to go to Florida. I used yeah. to live in Florida. They had those things with those big ones. Yeah, they're really big ones down there. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone. That's a good choco taco.